Hi everyone, it's Natasha. I want to share with you a really quick, mostly food-centric Dollar Tree haul. I shopped in six minutes. I left the house at 8.39, uh, drove to the Dollar Tree in Ellington, Connecticut, shopped, came back, and it was 8.56. So it was super quick, but I knew exactly what I needed to pick up. There were a couple of things that I was checking for that did and not have. The Javalia is still MIA. I did ask uh, the clerk that was checking me out whether she has seen them. She said she saw them briefly for one day and that was it and they're not expecting any more. So that's that. I will resign myself to never seeing those in person or picking them up. But I did get some things that are staples kind of in our house. And then some things that I found new. Um, this is a pair of fleece men's gloves. And my husband is a UPS driver, for those who don't know. Um, so he goes through gloves. This will last him maybe a week, handling packages. And it's just easier for me to buy the inexpensive dollar gloves. And they look like they're warm. And he has really large hands, even bigger than mine. And I have big hands. And these fit him really nicely. They have a little elastic on one side and um, they fit him nicely so I got him two pairs that's one he's already tried one on so that's what they look like the men's fleece gloves I picked up some candy that I like the red bird puffy mints love these I'm gonna, um, pop them in a candy dish in the living room butterscotch oatmeal bars these turn out to be quite tasty um, sometimes when I have a juice for breakfast I need something a little something something before having lunch around one o'clock or so, or an afternoon snack. Um, there's four to a pack, so it's a quarter each. And if you think about, for those of you who are on the go or buy anything, uh, or if you're forced to buy something from a vending machine, this would be easily over a dollar, a dollar or more uh, for each one. So it's nice to have stash these away in your briefcase, in your laptop bag, in your book bag for school in your purse um, so I stash these in my husband's lunches and sometimes I have them around the house so I picked up two packs of those and since it's baking season or shortly going to be baking season I picked up two bags of pure cane sugar and this is the uh, Azumix 100% natural product of Mexico it's unbleached as you can see it's a little creamy and I wanted to show you once you open that up you really can't unless you use the entire thing you need to put it in something and these 38 ounce containers fit this two pound bag quite nicely with enough room to put a little plastic scoop inside or to be able to scoop out easily so there you see I emptied one bag right in there so you could see that that fits nicely I also picked up a box of my favorite English lemon tea cookies. As a matter of fact, after the video, when I'm vid once I'm editing, I'm going to bust into those and have some tea. I got three more of the McCormick skillet sauces, and actually I've been doing a playlist of the recipes as I make them, and I'll include a card right there if you want to check it out. They didn't have the stir fry, which we really enjoyed. We had it twice this week. Um, I cooked it once and we had enough leftovers for an entire full meal for the two of us as well. So I got the chicken barbecue or the smoky applewood barbecue chicken, the taco with chipotle and garlic, and the fire roasted garlic chili, which I made this one already. And I think this weekend we're going to make the taco, but I'm into a salad. So I picked up an Ortego taco shell, and there's eight to a box yellow corn sometimes I find that we don't use up all of our taco shells and they tend to go stale very quickly once you open them unless you plan on having tacos two days in a row so that's plenty for us to have as a you know the topping for the salad I also picked up this now I had actually poo-pooed this when my husband threw it in uh, our shopping cart recently it's the homestyle select nacho cheese sauce but this is actually pretty darn tasty. It's an 8.8 .8 ounce jar, but once you open it up, you have to put it in something. And I have a small uh, glass ball jar that I just put that in with a lid and put, pop that in the fridge. This lasts us a week or so with you know various snacks, having it with carrots or chips, whatever. So um, I actually do like that. It is high on sodium, but all of these kinds of foods are. Actually, it's not in, any higher than some other snack foods. So it's a quarter cup per serving, so there's four servings, 80 calories, and this expires December 2016. Plenty of time. Um, we also like to keep, as an emer emergency uh, dessert, 
um, mandarin oranges in the refrigerator or uh, canned peaches or pears, things like that. Sometimes you want something cool and refreshing after maybe a hearty meal. So these are quite tasty. I think my husband polished off one of these tonight on his own. These are in all natural fruit, all natural fruit in light syrup. Let me see what the expiration date is on these. This one is January, May, January 2015. So it expires January 2018. It'll be long gone by then. Uh, two more boxes replacements of the Weilers, which we adore. The berry and cherry and the original flavors. Of course, I couldn't leave without getting a few uh, lint chocolates for my husband to stash in his lunchbox. I think he took off with a couple already because I had more than just three in the bag. <laughs> so funny. And then uh, my husband has a um, arthritic knee. And this muscle robe is really a godsend because he pops this in his tote that he takes to work with him while he's out on the road. He also puts it on on his knee at night before going to bed and helps relieve the arthritic pain. It's also good for back aches, muscle pain, joint aches, those kind of things. And it is comparable to the Ben Gay Vanishing Scent version, but it's a dollar. And since we go through these pretty quickly, it's much more affordable. And then for myself, as a last moment purchase as I was walking to the register, I got this anti-gravity ballpoint pen and I will play around with it in my file effects see whether that's any good and then last but not least I <clears throat> needed some dishwashing liquid and I used the just grabbed a couple of these from olives because I keep my dishwashing liquid in a glass jar with a liquor pour spout so I can refill those and this one takes just about two and a half of these so I already have some in there so um, we'll empty one more out in there. So there you go. There's a quick Dollar Tree haul. Super fast shopping. That's because I went on my own. And I know that the employees were eager to get out. Um, there are a couple of things that I have my eye out um, for. And I have a wish list on my blog. And if anyone has any wish list items, I'd love for you to share um, in the comments below if you found like your whatever that elusive item that people have been hauling that you've been curious to try out or wanted to get the deal and you found it, I'd love to hear that too because I get the feeling that some of the items are very regional. Um, I've never seen the Diwali's like I mentioned earlier. Um, I never saw the um, cool note cards that I've seen many people haul including um, Clara and I'm not really sure why I haven't seen them at our stores. I typically, sh this this sh this store that I shop at, shopped at tonight is in the town that I live in. It's like five minutes from our house. But I've also gone to four different ones in neighboring towns. And again, did not see any of those items. So I'm not sure whether, how they decide where the items are distributed throughout the country. So there you go. There's my quick food center call. As always, don't forget to thumbs up. It's free for you and it helps me out. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.